and I'm going to go super fast through um, our consent agenda. We don't have a lot else on there, and we'll get to our capital improvements joint meeting. So um, let's see here. Council Lady Allen. Benedict. She was here. Wasn't she here? Where'd she go? Okay. We've got her present. At Bradford. Cash. Evans. Gamble. Hager uh, had to go. Hall. His things are here. If anyone can find Councilman Hall, that would be fabulous. He has a bill up that we need his presence for. Chair Murphy's here. Connell, Parker, Rutherford, Stiles, Toombs, Van Reese, Welch, Vice Chair Withers. All right, so your consent agenda has item number two on it. That is RS 2021-992. Um, it has item number five on it. No, it does not. I'm sorry. It has item number seven, which is BL 2021-754. Item number eight, BL 2021-755. Item number nine, you have, does everybody have an agenda in front of them? All right, good. Item nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, are all on consent. Anything that needs to be bumped from there? What do you need, Councilman? Council item number two needs to be bumped. All right. Okay, so here is your consent agenda. Starting with item number seven, BL 2021-754, Roberts, Murphy, and others abandons a portion of Ohio Avenue right-of-way and easement. Item number eight, BL 2021-755 by Parker abandons existing drainage easement rights for property located at 338 East Trinity Lane. These are on consent to be approved unless otherwise noted. Item number nine is BL 2021-756 by Roberts and others. It abandons a portion of easement rights located at 5649 O'Brien Avenue, O'Brien Avenue unnumbered and 5806 and 5808 Charlotte Pike, formerly alley number 1520. Item number 10, BL 2021-757, Benedict and others negotiates and accepts permanent easements for the Linton Avenue stormwater improvement project for property located at 1305 Linton Avenue. Item number 11 is BL 2021-758. It is by Council Lady Benedict and it negotiates and accepts permanent easement for the McGavick Pike stormwater improvement project for four properties located at 11107, 11109, 1111 McGavick Pike and 3104 Gallatin Pike. Taking us to item number 12, BL 2021-759 by Benedict and others negotiates and accepts permanent easements for the Scott Avenue Stormwater Improvement Project for two properties located at 2926 and 2928A Scott Avenue. Item number 13, BL 2021-759 Six zero. Council Lady Lee and others abandons existing public sanitary sewer force mains and easements and to accept new sanitary sewer force mains and easements for three properties located at 4309, 4331, 4335 Maxwell Road, also known as Heritage Landing Force Main Relocation. Item 14 is BL 2021-761 by Councilman Hager and others, and it accepts new sanitary sewer mains, water mains, sanitary sewer manholes, fire hydrant assembly, and easements for properties located at 1011 Lady Nashville Drive. Ooh, Lady Nashville Drive. Uh, <laughs> also known as Heritage Hill Apartments. Taking us to item number 15, which is BL 2021-762 by Councilman Rutherford. It accepts new sanitary sewer mains and sewer and water mains, sanitary sewer main holes and fire hydrant assemblies and easements for two properties located at 6944 Nolansville Pike and 7236 Old Burkett Road, also known as Old Burkett Road Mixed Use Development. All right. Any issues with those? All those in favor of those items on the consent agenda? Any against? Any abstentions? Hearing none, the consent agenda is passed. Taking us to item number one, which is BL 2021-950 by Councilman Hall. It's a resolution approving the property at 4601 Ashland City Highway to be used as a waste transfer facility. Councilman Hall for a motion. Madam President, this is the other half of what you saw um, two weeks ago at the last council meeting, so this will be withdrawn. Okay, so this is being withdrawn, but I think, could we have some more information? You are, you're on. 
So I just checked the Board of Zoning Appeals um, case tracker before coming over here, and the application is still shown as being active and is scheduled for July 15th. Um, the 60 days from when the council got notice of the application will run on July 3rd, which is before the council meets again. So if the council, if they don't withdraw their application, then the council's failure to act would result in an automatic approval. So the, the council really should either move to disapprove uh, just to make sure that it's not approved by default. And if, if they withdraw their, their pending application between now and tomorrow night, then it, it can be withdrawn at that point. Councilman Hall, do you want to, um, to pull back your motion? It has not been seconded, so you can, you can take that away and so make I'd a So I'd like motion. to take that away and then make a motion for disapproval. All right, so we have a, um, he's rescinded his motion. Um, I will second the motion for disapproval, and we're going to hear from the airport authority at, um, as soon as I figure out, why don't you come, come up and um, join us at Council Lady Lee's desk in case Council Lady Styles is coming back. So second over. Please just identify yourself so we, uh, we know who we're hearing from. Thank you, you Madam Chair. My name is Tom Jerkovich. I'm with the Metropolitan Nashville Airport Authority. We're here to, to uh, express our uh, opposition uh, to the, the uh, solid waste facility out uh, in, in, uh, in that area. It is uh, a mile uh, from Toon Airport. It is in the flight path. Uh, the FAA strongly discourages waste facilities near uh, uh, aviation sites. Uh, they attract birds. Birds may be the single most hazardous um, external threat to uh, uh, airplanes. We're very, very much opposed to it. Uh, with me today is uh, Jeff Roach, the executive director of John C. Toon Airport. If he could just say a few, uh, a few words as well. Great, thank you. Go ahead. Yes, thank you very much. The Federal Aviation Administration has put out um, multiple advisory circulars and, and other documents that that document the fact that bird strikes are one of the most dangerous things for uh, aircraft, particularly small aircraft around airports. And so they have guidance that recommends that any waste facility not be closer than five miles from an airport facility. This proposal would put the waste transfer facility with, within the flight path of the fixed wing traffic that is maneuvering around John C. Toon Airport, which is why we oppose this. Thank you. Great, thank you. So with the airport's um, opposition, I will go to uh, Councilman Mendez and then back to Councilman Hall. All right, uh, thank you for, the, I think this is the first time I ever spoke at this committee meeting. You're um, always welcome though. <laughs> uh, well, I wanna thank uh, Councilman Hall for uh, switching it up to uh, moving to um, disapprove. Um, I've, uh, like I'm sure he has more than me, but I've been hearing from a lot of people in District 1 who have started looking ahead toward, who are grateful for uh, the intent to withdraw it, um, but are looking ahead to what's going on with the BZA thing that's still scheduled. And um, for I'm, I'm sure those folks are, are watching, and I just want to reiterate what Mr. Cooper said. In order to make the BZA hearing irrelevant, we need to disapprove um, rather than withdraw. And I appreciate Councilman Hall uh, making that motion. Thank you. Councilman Hall, anything else? No, Madam Chair. All right. With that, his motion is uh, renewed, um, and it is before us to disapprove this. Is there any further questions about how we are maneuvering this through and why we are disapproving it? Um, I think it is very important that we are disapproving this to so we do not get trapped by BZA and other requirements. Everyone good? All right. Without any further discussion, we'll move for a vote. All those in favor, say aye. aye. Uh, any against? Any abstentions? With that, Councilman, your uh, resolution is disapproved as requested. Taking us to item number two, which is RS 2021-992 by Murphy and Nash. It's to add phasing and to modify the acceptance of new public sanitary sewer mains, sanitary sewer manholes and easements for three properties located at 7150 and 7154 Nolensville Road and Nolensville Road unnumbered in Williamson County. Um, I'm going to move to approve Councilman Withers. 
Thank you, Councilman Bradford. The floor is yours. Thank you, Chair. Um, the reason I asked for this to be pulled from consent is I was just curious if someone could answer why we are accepting sanitary sewer remains and, and everything in a county outside of our borders. So I've asked these questions because I asked why I kept being put as the sponsor for them and it's because I'm the chair um, and we don't have a council member obviously in Williamson County. Um, and what it is is that because of the way that some pipes, sewer pipes, stormwater pipes, sanitary or non-sanitary sewer, whatever, um, the way that they run and they line, those lines don't terminate at our borders. Sometimes they need to go on um, and extend past our county lines based on gravity, flow, motion, velocity, and all of that in the engineering to get the water and the waste where it needs to go. I'm more than happy though to have anyone else who has more expertise in water speak up, but that has been the explanation of why I'm the sponsor of these in Williamson County. Okay, like I said, I was just curious why we were debating or, or taking up something that was not Nashville, Davidson County. So I, I do appreciate your response and it does make a little bit more sense. But if there was anybody from Metro Water or that's still left that could yeah. maybe Senator, do you want to come elaborate? up to, to verify my interpretation of this? And I mean, anytime that we could, uh, we can clarify anytime we can use their money for our infrastructure. I'm in favor of that too, but. That was going to be my second question. <laughs> I'll turn you on it, Council Lady Lees. Or Styles is fine. You're at Styles. Go ahead. Okay. Am I on? Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, Jim Snyder, Metro Water. And uh, Chair, your comments are confirmed. That's exactly it. Uh, Look at me. <laughs> and, and just a, a little more to that. Uh, think about this. We're, this. we're on the fringe of the county. And because of the gravity flow, that's a gravity line. Some of our customers actually reach across into another county. And so, uh, and, and, the, and the chair mentioned the fact that uh, pipes and so forth, well, those are all uh, gravity pipes. And so that's why we may have some customers right on the fringe. And then I think there was a question about the money, Jim. Can you confirm who pays for these? Are, are we able to get Williamson County to, to pay for any of this or is this all our money? Oh, actually this is a developer. So developer pays for all of it. Even, Even better. better. <laughs> Thank you, Councilman Rever. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> uh, Snyder. All right, with that, all those are, uh, my motion is renewed. All those in favor, all those against, any abstentions? With that, my, uh, my resolution is passed. Thank you. That takes us to item number three. Um, although Councilman Rosenberg is working on infrastructure in the, uh, <laughs> in, the 20, uh, in the 26th district, it looks like we're going to go ahead forward with this as BL 2021-654. It changes from RM2 to RS40. Property located at 6000 River Valley Drive at the southeast corner of River Valley Drive and Newsom Station Road and located within a planned unit development overlay 58 Point forty-eight acres, all of which is described, described therein. And Councilman, do you want me to take up your other, your other, at the same time, both bills at the same time? That takes us to item number four, BL twenty twenty-one six five five by Councilman Rosenberg. It cancels a portion of the River Walk Plan Unit Development District located at six hundred River Walk. River Valley Drive at the southeast corner of the River Valley Drive in Newsom Station Road, 58.48 acres, approved for 61 multifamily dwelling units, all of which is disguised, described therein. Councilman Rosenberg, um, you are not on our committee, but I'm going to let you speak so we can know your wishes before we make a motion. Thank you, Madam Chair. One meeting, please. Thank you. With that, I'm going to move for a deferral of both uh, BL 2021-654 and BL 2021-655 for one meeting deferral. Councilman uh, Withers seconds. And with that, all those in favor? Aye. Any against? Any abstentions? Thank you. Councilman, your bills are deferred one meeting. That takes us to BL 20, item number five, which is BL 2021-727 by Roberts and others. It declares surplus and a move, I'm sorry, approves the dispensation of the disposition of the parcel of real property known as Zero American Road. I'm going to uh, move for approval. Councilman Withers seconds. I'm going to move the amendment. I believe the amendment just changes road to avenue. Is that avenue correct? Avenue to road. But yes. Avenue to Road. Um, with that, I'm going to move the motion, I mean, move the amendment. Councilman Withers seconds that. Um, is there any discussion? I bumped this from consent because Council Lady Allen had some questions last meeting. She is not here. Do we know if was any of that expressed yes. or worked out? Yes. Um, so she was, 
So, Council Lady Allen was asking whether this could be used as affordable housing, but these lots are not buildable. Okay. All right. With that explanation, are there any questions? Seeing none, seeing no discussion, call for the vote. All those in favor? Against abstentions. With that, uh, the bill is amended. I'm sorry, did I amend it? That was the yes. amendment. Okay. I did amend it or that was the amendment? You, vo you have already voted on the amendment. Thank you. Short term memory, clearly. All right. Taking us to item number six, which is BL 2021 743 by O'Connell and others. It approves the purchase and sale agreement between Metro Government and Piedmont Gas Company for a parcel of property and improvements located at 800 2nd Avenue North. Councilman O'Connell, one moment. You are on. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, we had pretty substantial discussion about this in budget and finance. I've had uh, a pretty good back and forth with, I know um, the administration was pretty clear this was actually recommended by Metro Legal um, uh, to more or less deal with uh, a brownfield site about which more was learned recently suggesting that uh, this is more severe than I think we had known for several years. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I do have some concerns about the overall nature of the deal, but I do also understand the severity of the issue suggests this is something we need to act on, so I am uh, comfortable supporting this. All right, so it was, um, I believe that was a motion to approve, is that correct? Yes, Mr. I'm Smith? sorry, motion to approve. Thank you, I will second that motion. Um, I do, I did hear the discussion in the previous committee and I appreciate that. Um, I will follow up that I did have concerns, I think I voiced them last time we met at MCC, about the fact that we have a Metro name building here and that was not really discussed or fleshed out. Y'all uh, have received, I forwarded the um, historic report about the building um, being named and that kind of thing and then you'll also notice on your um, legislation on first reading for tomorrow night I have legislation that I hope you will support that that discusses these names buildings so it's very similar to what we do with street renamings buildings moving forward that are named that we are selling tearing down or, or whatever renaming for whatever reason we will get that historic report the same way we do with roads I think that gives us the information that we need when we are in some of these situations so um, so that concern of mine has been tabled with the uh, legislation I filed. So any other questions or discussion? Seeing none, hearing none, we'll uh, move forward on the renewed motion. All those in favor? Any against? Any abstentions? Your bill is approved. All right, so that takes us to, I think we're done. I think we're ready for our joint meeting. So if everybody will not leave, Council Lady Suara, I see you. Council Lady Suara. You, you, might, you might want to wait and make sure we have a quorum first. Do we have a budget quorum, Council Lady Toombs? Can you uh, look at your...